So today I'm back for another makeup tutorial for Valentine's and I've created a more sultry kind of eye makeup look with a nude lip. You can totally wear a like dark lip with this but I thought let me just wear a nude lip because I don't want it to be too dramatic, do you know what I mean? Um, I did use the Balm Cosmetics Nude Tude palette. I actually got this for £15 on Amazon, believe it or not. Um, a, in, a independent seller was selling it and... It's, I really like it. The shadows are really pigmented. It's not coming up um, true to colour on camera because probably my lighting is a bit too bright, unfortunately. But um, I'm going to try and fix the lighting while I'm editing. So hopefully you can see the colours properly. But I really like it. In person it looks really nice. I mean, the shadows were really easy to work with. And I also want to talk about this freaking mascara. Like, this mascara is amazing. I don't even want... The only thing I would say that it does take quite a while to dry. So you want to be careful that you don't sneeze or touch it because your eyelashes will stick together. But the brush on this mascara is... Oh my god. Like, it made my lashes look so much longer than what my Lash Sensational does for me. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing contacts, but it's just so good. Like... Oh, oh. Uh, I can't, I can't stop breathing up. Oh, and just before I jump into this tutorial, I want to quickly mention my contacts. I am wearing the Fresh Look Colour Blend Contacts in Sterling Grey. I got, like, the two-month supply for around £20. So I'll link the website where I got them from in the info box, just in case you guys are wondering. And, yeah, so if you want to know how to create this look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturise my face with my Hydrogen Riche moisturizer by La Roche-Posay. I really think this is um, kind of similar to my Garnier Moisture Match Cream for dry to very dry skin and I've just been liking it so far. Um, then I'm going to take this The Balm Eye Primer. Um, it actually came free in the eyeshadow package thing so I thought that was kind of cool. I wasn't really expecting that but I kind of like it you know. Um, it's, it has like a silicone feel to it. So here's the, the palette itself and I'm going to first take Salt Tree and use this as my transition shade and I'm just taking a basic fluffy brush just to blend that in and you really want to make sure that you're blending everything nicely. And I also think that the eye primer did a really good job at helping my eyeshadow not crease and stay on, on all day because the day I filmed this tutorial I kept my makeup on all day and there was literally no creasing or anything so I really like the eye primer. So the next shade that I'm going to take is this shade called Sexy. It's a deep burgundy shade and it's a matte shade as well. And I'm just going to apply this into the outer corner and the inner corner of my eyelid. And I'm just taking a little flat tapered fluffy brush by um, Real Techniques just to blend that in. I am also trying to avoid the centre area because we are going to apply a shadow on the centre of the lid. And then again I'm going to take the first brush that I used to blend the edges out and I really wanted to keep the edges really rounded and keep it at like a kind of smoky eye so I did not want to wing anything out, I really rounded the edges off. I'm then going to grab this shade Seductive which is a really really pretty rusty gold shade i don't know how to explain colors really well but um i just really think it's super pretty i think for every day if you just throw this on all over your eyelid um but i'm just applying this with my finger and patting it into the center and just blending the edges away into the brown so that everything is nicely blended i don't know how many times i'm going to say blended but basically you want everything to be blended <laughs> um so here i'm just taking a pencil brush um i think this is like a from a brush from a brush set that I got off Amazon and I'm just kind of packing more shadow into the inner and outer corners and then going with a clean fluffy brush and blending the edges out again I'm just really going back and forth with different brushes, just trying to like blend everything out, then repacking it on and then blending it out nicely again. You just have to play around with it and 
asking you what areas you want to fix up or what areas need more shadow um, so that's what I try to do every time I do like really blended out eyeshadows even though all eyeshadow looks should be blended out properly um, but then again I'm just taking I think I took a darker shade um, afterwards just to intensify the inner and the outer corner um, again I just wanted those areas to look a bit deeper and then I just took another brush again and blended those areas out I've been really into these spotlight kind of eyeshadow looks lately, um, I don't know, I just really like how it looks when you look down especially. So now onto my skin, I'm going to first take my Smashbox Primer Water and spray this all over my face and then I'm going to take my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and kind of dot this around my skin but I did kind of forget to colour correct so I'm just quickly grabbing my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade orange, it's the, actually the corrector and I'm going to apply some of this around my mouth area and blend it out with my finger. When I was done with the correcting I added some more foundation and just blended everything out with my damp beauty blender. I am in the shade Tahoe if you guys are wondering in the Nasha Glow foundation. It's so hydrating on the skin and it really gives a luminous look to your skin so I definitely recommend this foundation if you have if you haven't tried it especially if you have normal to dry skin then for concealer I'm going to grab my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee and I'm going to apply this under my eye area and a bit around my mouth area as well and onto my onto the nose of my bridge onto the nose of my bridge okay there's something wrong with me I mean on the bridge of my nose um, then I'm also gonna grab my naked skin concealer um, and pack that onto the same areas just on top of the previous concealer and I just really like to mix those two they give a really nice finish in my opinion and then again I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and blend everything out So when I'm done with blending my concealer out, I'm going to take my Ben Nye Banana Powder and set everything in, especially on, under my eye area and um, my smile lines. I'm then going to bronze up my face with my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep and also kind of con contour with it. I'm using my Big Fluffy Brush by um, Real Techniques, it's the Bold Metals one. And then I'm going to use my new blush that I recently got, it's the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Blush. I'm not sure about the shade but I will write it in the info box. And it gives a, gives a really nice natural sheen to your skin as well which I really like. However the shade isn't that dark enough for my skin but I, really, I could use this for a highlighter to be honest. But then I'm going to take my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter by Jaclyn Hill and I'm just going to pack that onto my cheekbones, my nose, the bridge of my nose and my temples and basically my whole face. I'm joking but mostly on those areas. Um, I am going to take a clean um, stippling brush by MAC and just blend everything in together. I really like to do this sometimes just to make sure that everything is nicely blended so that there's no really harsh lines. Um, I then took the shade Sexy again and, and applied this on my lower lash line but only onto the inner and outer section of my lower lash line and I also then took Sassy which is a very pearlescent white shade and I'm just highlighting my inner corner I don't know why I can't speak properly when I do voiceovers like it's so weird um, then I'm going to take the shade snobby I think yeah snobby and it's a more warm sh pearlescent shade and I just thought that the sassy one was a bit too white so I just wanted to warm it up a bit and I just packed that on top of that one and then I, here I just took Seductive, so the shade that I took on for the centre of my lid and just applied that on the centre of my lower lash line. Just to add a little extra something, I just took my 
Metallic Eyes Pencil by number 7. This is in the shade Camouflage and it's just a very creamy brown golder shade and it's super easy to apply and I just line my lower waterline with that and I'm just curling my lashes right now and I'm going to use the new Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. I personally like it. I've seen um, a lot of people say they like it or some people really hate it because the formula, it, the formula is kind of funny. I mean it does take a while to dry but I really like it. I love the brush. I personally i'm being completely honest right now i think it makes my lashes look really really long and it's really easy to apply like it's easier to apply than my maybelline lash sensational one but yeah i really recommend it to be honest and i'm also packing a lot of mascara on my lower lashes as well as usual you can use lashes if you want but i'm just going to go with my lashes alone and then for my lips i'm going to take my chiramisu lip liner by rimmel and basically line my lips and fill them in as well with this shade it's just a basic nude shade I then also decided to add um, the Maybelline matte lipstick in nude embrace on top of that and yeah that's all I did for my lips I just fixed up the edges as well with the lip line, I just went back in again with it just to line the edges properly. So this is the final look, I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more Valentine makeup looks before Valentine's Day, I'll be happy to do some more for you. And also let me know what else you would like to see on my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up, thank you so much for watching and I love you guys all so much and until next time I will see you then, bye!